Hi, folks. Forrest A. Jr. here with Rolling Tape. Today, we talk to Jen Grisanti. She's written a couple of books, including Storyline, Finding Gold in Your Life Story. Now, let's roll tape. This episode brought to you by Spoof Dance Film Festival. Make parody commercials and bring the funny. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Great to have you here. Now, you've written um, a couple of books. I should have had them ready here. Uh, Storyline and Change Your Story, Change Your Life. Let's talk yes. quickly about those books. And uh, let's, um, particularly this one, I'm interested in uh, talking about the subject matter of that. Okay. Uh, well, Storyline, Finding Gold in Your Life Story is the first book that I've written. And it's all about adding fiction to your truth in your writing. And the book is for screenwriters who want to learn story tools that will help them, number one, uh, have really strong structure in their scripts. I go through features and television. And then a very big component of what I was known for as a studio executive was getting writers to add fiction to their truths. So uh, in the book, I go through exercises that, that help people dig deep into their personal well so that they can extract story and write from a stronger place. So it's kind of like write what you know and take your, um, you know, you know you, we have, we've spoken before and I know your life story, the book kind of goes into it too. Uh, so yes. it's taking, um, basically taking bad things and turning them into good things. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. It's taking a negative turn and putting it in a positive direction. So for the screenwriter, many screenwriters, as we all do, have um, broken past uh, failures uh, as well as successes. And what Storyline does is it really teaches you to dig deep into those moments and add fiction to them in the scripts that you are writing so that you are drawing the emotion from an authentic place. Can you give us kind of an example of, of what that means to add fiction to your truth? Yeah, so say for example, you're writing a spec script on the blacklist and in the story, um, in the story arc, Liz experiences abandonment or loss and you take a moment from your personal well and you think about when have you gone through the emotions of abandonment or loss and when you think of those moments you think about like what came through you what did you have to say as a result of those moments and then you put them into the arc with Liz as a way to connect with the audience so that they truly uh, feel the story. So you can basically create characters uh, based on yourself and your friends and or, or your enemies for that matter. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think it, yes, write what you know, fortunately right now, I think the climate of the entertainment business is all about why are you the perfect writer for this project? So what Storyline isn't, is it isn't about writing your story without fiction. It's not uh, autobiographical. It's taking your story and adding fiction to it so that you're writing from a place of emotional truth, which is what is desired right now in people selling scripts. Well, what made you want to write the book? Well, uh, definitely a platform for because I started my own business. My business is a writer's consultancy where writers hire me on a per project basis so it's and pay me a fee. So it's like they have their own private studio executive. So what the book does, uh, the value that it brings is it gives writers uh, who want to work with me an idea of my worldview on story and everything that I learned as a studio executive. And certainly the goal is 
that it will help them to write scripts at the level that could lead to them selling their scripts and uh, getting on staff. Now, when you were a studio executive, um, did any of this like come to mind, like writing about uh, putting yourself into the story, so to speak? Because um, you must have seen a ton of scripts. Oh, yes. I, well, it's interesting. I thought about writing a book, I mean, pretty early in my career when I was working with Aaron Spelling and I was seeing how everything worked in the studio process and there weren't a lot of books out at that time. That was in 1992. So there weren't a lot of books out at that time. So I definitely, because I had uh, the gift and the blessing of being exposed to spelling at a high point in his career and being exposed to top shows and top showrunners and executives. I, I knew that there were, was a value in bringing that to the writer as a way to help them uh, understand how they can create a writing career. And why do, why do you think it's more so nowadays, um, the putting, you know, fiction into your truth, so to speak, as you said, as opposed to the way it used to be? Because I don't think the TV shows 20 years ago were necessarily like that. No, they weren't. Like, it used to be that they said, don't write what you know, because they were too worried about people writing from an autobiographical place and not being open to change the story. So because, and they felt life is boring. Life is not like a TV show. You have to add drama to it. And, and so I think the new wave of thinking over the last probably five, six, seven years is coming off of shows that have come or films that have come from a place of truth and done incredibly well. And then my book, Change Your Story, Change Your Life, is really the complement to storyline because that is all about mining from within and understanding how to tell your story so that you can be you can create the type of life you want to be living and it also helps screenwriters to understand what personal stories they should give in their meetings as a way to connect with the people they're meeting with and and so it also establishes that they have a huge well of story. Mm -hmm. it, do you think reality television has changed the, the, the landscape of this demand for a more truth-based stories? Definitely. Definitely. I think reality, I always say fiction draw, can draw from reality shows and vice versa and I I believe that when we what we can learn from reality shows is about character. So when we see that certain characters become extremely popular and we understand what parts of their backstory was revealed that made them an audience favorite, it really helps to inform the development of character in fictionalized stories. And you could probably, uh, as you're talking, my mind, you know, is turning here. You could yeah. probably mix your story with your friends' stories and oh, yeah. just people you know and then create unique characters. Oh, yeah. Like when you're creating character, you could take qualities from – because with character, you're really wanting to create polarity. You really – most of us, like say we, we are very efficient and strong in the work world – but maybe we're a bit of a mess in our personal world. And, and creating those type of characters where people can identify with because it's them. And, and very often that may take drawing from a couple people that you know to create the polarity that will connect with the audience. Okay. And uh, before we go, where can people get your books? And if somebody wants to actually meet with you and, and um, learn from you, how can they get a hold of you? Absolutely. My website is very easy, jengrisanti.com. So J E N G R I S A N T I.com. And the, my books are everywhere on Amazon, Barnes and Noble. Uh, Michael Weezy Productions is my publicist. 
So they can definitely, I, I highly recommend they check out that website as well because they can get a good discount. All right, Jen, thank you for joining me on this episode of Rolling Tape. You got it. Thank you for having me. That was Jen Grassanti, author of Storyline, Finding Gold in Your Life Story. And thanks for watching this episode of Rolling Tape.